I honestly don't know how I feel about the Christmas listing. This is the 2020 film that's also known as Christmas in Farmstead, that's I-N-N Farmstead. And the premise itself is quite interesting, but the execution of the narrative is really appalling because there's a lot of unrealistic things in this. There are a lot of aspects of it that are not really thought out or mapped out very well. It is very festive, though. So if you can kind of ignore the fact that the narrative development is pretty shocking and some of the character behaviours are really unbelievable, it's festive. <laughs> I will give it that. It is festive. It was released, as I said, this year and directed by Elizabeth Snodderly, written by Lexi Giovanoli, and stars Giovanoli as our protagonist, uh, Julia, and also Travis Burns as Chad. Julia and Chad are both realtors, and they both want to get um, the farmstead in because it's a very popular place where a lot of families go every Christmas, but the couple who own it are going to move away and they're looking to sell it but they don't want to just give it to any realtor. So they come up with a kind of competition where the realtors who are interested are invited to stay at the inn in the run-up to Christmas and experience what the inn has to offer at Christmas. And then by the end of it, they will determine which realtor will be able to list the property. Okay, so first of all, the fact that a, real, a couple of realtors would be expected to just drop absolutely everything and just spend the week leading up to Christmas in this inn. Completely unrealistic. Definitely wouldn't happen. And to be fair, some of the realtors who were initially interested did drop out straight away saying they couldn't commit. So that's the first strike against it. It just doesn't feel realistic at all. I also feel like it's kind of self-important of the inn owners to think that their inn is so amazing that people would just drop their lives and stay there for a week. Nevertheless, Julia and Chad both really want this, and those two and um, a third realtor do agree to stay there and start to partake in Christmas activities, chopping down Christmas tree, decorating cookies, spending time with um, the other few individuals who are actually staying at the inn for Christmas. And that does bring out a lot of festive joy. Now, I have to say, Julia as a character, I liked. But... There was just something about her that didn't come across as a professional realtor. She's very different to the protagonist we get in similar films. Not necessarily a bad thing, but she didn't really seem like she was that business savvy or that business minded. And I don't know why that is. I can't put my finger on it. Obviously, nothing wrong with the acting. Across the board, the acting's brilliant. Um, I felt like they were at least believable with the characters they were trying to portray. It's just the way the characters are written, I think, are not the most convincing. And their actions don't always feel right. And that's the case with Chad. Chad does something. At some point, you will know what I mean. I can't see any more because I don't want to spoil it. Because I do recommend you watch this. But he does something. And even though the character begins to go through some personal developments, he does something unexpected. And it just doesn't feel in place with the direction this character was going. And he does something that's not the most positive for Julia, but when he's trying to tell Julia about it, he seems really excited and you know, really enthusiastic. And that's it doesn't go hand in hand with the actual actions. So a lot of things about this just don't work. But as I said, it's festive. It's definitely festive. If you're looking for a Christmas film that you haven't seen, and one that's quite easy to watch, Christmas in Farmstead or The Christmas Listing, is a, is a good enough watch. I think there are certainly aspects of it that you will enjoy. By no means is it the best, but it will put you in the Christmas mood. I would just say don't prioritise it above any other Christmas film you have on your to-watch list. It's good for a one-time watch, but by no means is it perfect. 